This short screencast uses some animation to show mechanical wave pulses, specifically transverse wave pulses and longitudinal wave pulses. This accompanies my lecture. Okay, so in this particular animation, this little applet, first of all, I'm going to show you a transverse wave pulse. We have here, for example, a spring that is laid out on the floor, much like in my demonstration. And then here's a hand, which is going to disturb the spring in a direction that is perpendicular to the direction of propagation. That is along the length of spring itself. Okay, in this animation, they focus in right here on this red dot. And then here on this graph above, what they then plot is the disturbance of this red dot from its equilibrium position as a function of time. That is, as the pulse propagates through. Let me go ahead and set it into motion. And when you see a transverse wave pulse such as this in slow motion, obviously it is pretty easy to understand. Okay, now let me go ahead and switch to the longitudinal pulse. Okay, with the longitudinal pulse, the little hand right here is going to move in a direction that is parallel to the direction of propagation. But then once again, what they plot here is the disturbance of this red dot from its equilibrium position as a function of time. Seeing the amplitude in the transverse pulse from earlier is pretty simple and obvious. However, seeing the amplitude of a longitudinal pulse is a little bit more difficult. So what they do is they very nicely depict for us here on this graph the amplitude of this longitudinal wave pulse. Once again, that's the maximum disturbance of the red dot, for example, from its equilibrium position as a function of time. So let me go ahead and set it into motion like so. And then watch the graph above, such that you can see the amplitude now of a longitudinal pulse like so. Okay.